Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be an assumptions and we are specifically going to read some of the worst assumptions about us. We're reading the worst of the worst. I'm getting ready, don't mind me. Oh, Using my she's... minimum LA body oil. I'm still in this from you. Absolutely. I'm just going to go through and read and we're just going to glam and get ready for the day while we answer your worst assumptions, which I'm kind of scared what you guys um, really think of us. I'm actually really excited. You guys, I sang the subscribe song in my last video and you guys were like, now Miss Girl, you you can't be teasing us with that. Girl, it's in the past. It is. It's so crazy. I forgot you used to do that. I know. Oh, we're glowing. Thank you. I got a couple questions about the Minimum LA body oil and they were like, what if you don't like the smell of vanilla? What would you say this smells like? It's like coconut vanilla. It's not it's, specific. It is. That's exactly. It's very summery, coconut vanilla-y. It's not specifically coconut and it's not specifically just vanilla. It's a mixture. It's like a coconut Cashmere. vanilla. Cashmere. And the smell is not overpowering. So you're not going to be smelling all day, but it does smell. Girl, delicious. but first, just look at that glow. Ugh, makes the skin look so healthy. Subscribe before you leave. I'm gonna go ahead and read off some of your assumptions. Let's go. Our first one is Aaron is bad with money. The answer to that is yes. But before we want to sit here and judge me, oh, reminder, I'm a 19 year old who is about to turn 20. Is that an excuse for myself? Maybe, but let's be a little bit kind to myself. As long as I keep the bills paid and I'm able to get a meal in each day, I think I'm fine. A meal in, like we ain't feeding you. Okay, but when I'm in Santa Barbara. Okay, that's true. I am very bad at money. So that assumption could be real. It is real. Oh, here's a good one. Laura forces Erin to be in her YouTube videos or her, it just says her videos. She doesn't force me. She in fact pays me. And if okay. I could, I would make Laura film 10 videos with me each week because she does pay me for each video <laughs> I'm in. Erin does not work for free. I make sure and pay her because it's like also like her time. I know like you would though. Like if I asked you. Yeah, I, I mean, know. if Laura asked me, you probably would not paying me, I'm still gonna do it. You probably wouldn't be like, yay, we're filming a video. But you <laughs> know, go. she is like, yay, we're filming a video because she likes to get money and that's good for her, you know? Again, broke college girl who isn't the best with spending their money. You know, she's home for this summer and you guys, whenever she's away at college, we can't film together, which I'm so sad because honestly, it's like more fun for me when we're making content and I have someone with me to talk to and like do it with. I wish each person would just film a YouTube video and see how it really is and see that Sometimes filming videos can be really fun, but yeah. sometimes it can seem like more like a chore. Yeah. But when you're filming with someone, it's it makes fun. it a million times better. So I love having her in my videos, but I know I love being here, baby. She's paid. She's a paid girly. Erin just mooches off of Laura. 100%. That's not true. That though. is not true. You're a working girl. Laura spoils me and 100%. I'm very appreciative 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 you are of it. and i'm gonna take what someone is willing to give me. as you should and me and laura have always had like a really good relationship like even before i moved here like i remember being in elementary school laura was like one of my favorite people to be around so and <laughs> I still is to this day. Do we bicker and argue? Yes, but that's also because I'm getting older and I do stupid little things. I love spoiling her because like, wh why wouldn't I? But I think there's like a certain degree with it because you know, Erin always has had to have a job. Even in her senior year of high school, we went yeah. ahead and told her to have a job and through college have a job and work so that she gets a taste of the real world and she understands the concept of money and she understands how it is to work really hard hard at these In fact, jobs. I wish I, wish I would have gotten job uh, earlier on because not only because of money, but having a job has taught me so much more than what anyone else could have taught me. Whether Absolutely. it's Laura, Tyler, school, whatever it is, like you will never learn the things you do when working a job, especially the jobs that That's I why worked. I've never like understood parents who don't make their children work, but who no. am I to judge their parenting me methods? I have reasons why I do the things I do. I think it builds character. Mm -hmm. And Erin's jobs are not just like lucky jobs she's gotten from me. Like she used to work yeah. at Domino's. Yeah, and like, girly pop. I worked at Domino's. Like at one point I was working for Laura and stuff, but it was for a little bit. And another job that I had, now that I'm not working here anymore, I used to work at Home Depot. She hated that job. Worst job 
ever. The ever. tea. But I did get paid eighteen dollars an hour. So. And it's like, yeah, I do make enough money where she should doesn't have to work. But like, why would she do that? Why would I do that and create a monster? <laughs> no offense, but it's like monster. A person who has never had a real job and just like even jumps into influencing without having any real job. It's They're, like you have no concept of reality. Is, you have so. no concept of reality and what people go through. So I think it's so important. Aaron likes Ty more than Auntie. Laugh out loud. You see, I feel like a lot of people do assume this and they do question that. And the answer to that is no. Lauren Tyler, maybe you guys couldn't tell this, but they are like sometimes not polar opposites, but they are very different. So I get different things from both of them and I talk to them about different things. Yeah. The so, thing is me and Tyler were both raised very differently. Mm -hmm. His parents had a lot of expectations for him. They were very strict. They gave him a lot of rules, but in my household, there were no pressure, no expectations, not that many rules, but like it was more of a type of bringing up where it's like, you're gonna work hard, you know, you're gonna earn your own keep, like education and like curfews weren't so much. The big factor in my bringing up, it was more so Girl, survival. I feel like, <laughs> well, I feel like you're very strict with when it came to a curfew. I no longer- That's because I'm trying to keep my kid off the streets in Los Angeles. Yeah, being on the streets to Alabama compared to, I don't know, Los because <laughs> Alabama, you can get yourself in some real trouble you because really can. when you don't have a lot of things to do, yeah, there's you trouble. find some things to do. We just have a very different style of parenting, but it works because we both respect each other's style and like we both enforce each other's rules. They they work together. I mean, yeah. there's I've never really seen them two kind of clash heads when it comes to parenting me. Laura tries to imitate Kardashian Valley Girl accent. I love your southern accent. So this has been a controversial thing for me. The answer to that is just gonna be no, because- Hear me out. Laura has been living here so many years, and just from me being here the short amount of years that I've been here, my accent has also gone away, evolved. changed. Evolved. It has evolved. I do kind of notice sometimes when I say certain things, I can sound like a valley girl. It's hard not to catch up on it. This is the thing. If you've never left the place you were born and you're still there, you may not understand this, and that's totally okay. There's nothing wrong with still living in the place that you're born. Literally nothing wrong with it, but I did. So let me speak from my experience of actually leaving, you know, my hometown and exploring. I've lived in Los Angeles for nine years. Dang. You guys, I'm going on 10 years now. And yes, there's no one around me, maybe my husband, but there's no one else around me that has a country accent. So naturally you're going to start to pick up different accents from where you're at. So yes, I have lost a ton of my country accent. I get super, super, country if I'm drinking. Mm -hmm. I get super, super country if I'm back in Alabama and around family that talks country, I pick it back up in two seconds. And I think sometimes when I'm at home when you and Tyler all say certain things that are super country. Yes. Like, And they'll call me out, they'll be like, oh, the, you're, you're so country whenever like, I do it. Really like, pop. Where did that like, come from? Yeah, but I understand it is so upsetting to you guys because y'all have followed- the Southern queen? Yes, y'all have followed me for so long. Where's my Southern girl? Y'all love that I'm from Alabama. Y'all love that I'm from the South and that's probably a reason why some of y'all followed me and it's disappointing that I don't have like that full Southern accent that I used to have and like I try to enunciate my words better. But I feel like it's just one of those situations where I do hate to disappoint you guys with picking up more on the Valley Girl accent. I love it and I hate it because I've been bashed my whole entire internet career for having this country accent, having an annoying voice and it's so annoying to listen to her talk. But it's kind of like one of those situations where you're damned if, you're do, if you do and you're damned if you don't because it's either people are mad at me for not having it or they're mad at me when I do have it. It. And I honestly feel like it's one of those areas I can't really win. I will say I do like to enunciate my words very clearly. And I do try to do that with my TikToks, but occasionally, you know. I mean, that's such a Southern thing. Like there are still a couple words that Laura has to fix me on. But I remember when I first moved here, one of the words that you would, I don't know, you wouldn't really imagine was with. I would say with. Going out with my friends. Yeah. Have it with, with, with. Aaron, say the TH. It's with your friends. So I I would try to like correct some of the words. It is 
it's like you're straight up saying the word wrong and I feel bad because it's like a country accent but I do like you live in Los Angeles now and like job interviews and colleges like I want you they're to say the word they're not gonna see that as like a southern accent like they're not gonna think it's will. cute yeah they're gonna be like girl it's not gonna be cute and quirky to them no I'm still gonna say oh and I'm still gonna say concealer okay there are certain words you cannot stop me I never knew I said concealer wrong until I got on the internet and I was yeah. like wow yeah. I say that wrong I didn't know either oil though I do say that right oh. you don't Oh, soul. Oh, bowl. Bowl. Laura is a bad tipper. Do you know that the other day I was at Universal with some friends and one of my friends told me what the word tips mean? And I did not know the word tips was an acronym. Like, oh, I didn't know that. What? What so is it? So, it means for? to inspire prompt service. <gasps> That's what tips is. Oh. To inspire prompt service. Isn't that crazy? Did that you guys is. know that? I um, bet it does inspire though. It does inspire prompt service, which is so funny, but I don't think I'm a bad tipper. I'm, Laura's not a bad tipper. Her and Tyler are not. If the service is mediocre, you're getting the full 20%. If the service is anything above mediocre, you're getting a fat tip yeah my husband's an even better tipper than me but you know and even like we were at a restaurant on new year's eve or like after new year's eve we went out one time and it was like late and like i was like Damn, our waiter's like in her 50s like on new year's eve like working it was like i hop yeah i was like that's up. like she should be at home asleep so like we tipped her like hundreds and hundreds of dollars because we felt so bad about that you know and then my nail lady that does my toenails she's like an older lady and i'm like dang like she should not be down here scrubbing my feet <laughs> like she's an older lady so i always tip her extremely extremely well i normally tip her more than it costs for me to get my toes done in cash so i'm a good tipper aaron is bye why are we just screaming this i feel like <laughs> aaron is bye i feel like since the day i I have popped up on Laura's YouTube channel. That question has haunted you? Not haunted me, okay. but it's just a question that I feel like is constantly. Have you asked. put off what is a bisexual vibe? Have you put off a bisexual vibe? I know, it's like do I have I, so many gay friends I like don't even know. Do I give off bi girl vibes? Maybe. And I, That's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, but I'm just like curious as to why people ask me so much. Maybe um, you are curious. <laughs> That's I, why. Bi curious. <laughs> By curious. Maybe that's what you are. I, I wouldn't even say that. I would say more like the only reason why I'd say maybe pan, which being pansexual just means like there's no labels. Like you're not I like that. attracted to boys or girls. You're just like, it doesn't matter what that person identifies themselves as. Oh! Which I guess like I would say that more because it's not like I'm not going to be like, oh, you are non-binary or trans. It's not like I'm going to be like, nope. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. So I would say, but yeah, if you want to say bye. Okay. I'm not straight. How about that? I told you to date a girl because I'm sick of these men. Honestly, something that I told myself, which I'm not saying me and my boyfriend are going to break up, but I'm just saying if me and my boyfriend do break up, I'd probably just just take that opportunity. Let's get out there more. Because this is I, a safe household, Erin. You can date whoever you want. Thank you. I got my gunkle manny too. That's right. You can bring home whoever you want, honey. I love it. Well, not anyone, but you know. Any gender or person that you are inspired to date. <laughs> the way you said that. <laughs> we support it. Girl, just be like, I don't care. We really don't care, to be honest with you. It's more so we care about the human being. Yeah. You know like, what I mean? Like the person. Yeah, as long as they're not awful human being. Yeah, I'm not straight. I do like my women as well. Thank you. Next. We're about to be copywritten. <laughs> you sing so good. So good. I'm literally Ariana Grande. That's the next assumption. Aaron is literally Ariana Grande. That no one assumed that. Y'all don't talk to Aaron's mom. That is not <clears throat> true. We do talk to her. In fact, back in like, when did we go on the beach trip? Back in May? It was May. Mama was there. I need to do uh, a better job at texting my mother. I agree. But to be fair, this might not be the best, but if you're not my boyfriend, I really Girl, don't text people that much. I think that's so terrible. But you are 19 and you're acting like a little 19 year old. Text your family. Don't I text you when I'm in Santa Barbara? No, never. It's only me texting you. That's a you. lie. It's you texting but me also, back. But also, what am I supposed to text you? Be like, hey. Absolutely. Hey, how's your day? Miss you tons. Miss you. Love you so much. What about that? I love There's it. a thought. But no, me and Laura, we do talk to my mama bear. 
We do. Oh, this is a good one. Even though the circumstances weren't ideal, you were so happy Aaron came to live with you. Yes, but let me just refresh in your memory. Let's let's go back. So I Couple was stops. canceled in the glorious year back in 2018, and during the middle of me fighting a storm online, I was in court also trying to get my niece from yes. my sister at the time. Yes. Y'all didn't know that because obviously I wasn't talking about that. That was the at home. That was a private family battle that I was going through. Was that easy going through that? Girl, that was, was going through, you know, being destroyed online. No, that was really hard. No, uh, I wish you guys could literally see the process. It took for you just for like anyone that was a part of that like I wasn't really thinking much about that at that time but to be fair I was really young and I was severely depressed I was like great join me in California I'm also severely depressed I just got canceled <laughs> online let me help you yeah no but uh I think me and Laura really needed each other I made it out alive didn't I yeah we obviously let Aaron just kind of like be on the back burner of it and it was more so me and my lawyer going back and forth and like obviously I didn't Aaron was so young, like you were 14, 15. And Laura knew that. You were that. 14 whenever I was yeah. going through all that. So you were a literal kid. So I like. And Laura knew from the beginning that I was more than happy to come move to California and live yeah. with my auntie. I knew that. And I just didn't, I did not feel like I needed to like tell Aaron every little detail of the case and everything that was going on. Yeah. I just like let me and Tyler handle that. Girl, like I even would that. understand that. Yeah, like, exactly. Oh, okay. It was already too much to go through as it was on with everything. So I just like kept that between us and then just told you what you were doing and when you were doing it. Yeah. And so, yeah, that's kind of like what we did. But, Ooh, my foot's um, I was happy for her to come. Was it like an ideal timing? No, it's probably like the actual worst timing possible, but that's I'm life. Like, hey. <laughs> that's literally life though. You know what I mean? Things don't always. Things don't go as you want as them planned. to. As so, planned. So, yeah. Maybe a fun fact you guys didn't know is like, I was never gonna ever have intentions on ever telling you guys what, what? happened with my family. I oh. was never gonna tell you guys that. Cause during that time, it was a really a hard thing. It was rough, it was bad. Now so, we can talk about it so lightly, you know? Yeah, like I've, I have no problem talking about it. I've never really had a problem talking about it. It's no. always just been out of respect for my mom and the rest of my family. Cause you know, like there are certain things that my mom probably like I don't think well I asked your mom before I filmed any of those videos if I could yeah or well, like what can I say because like the thing is my sister there was a lot going on whenever I had uh, put those videos out there so like even though the previous years I had been at war with my sister we were finally coming to a place where we weren't at war anymore so like out of respect for her because I did yeah. want to tell some of her story and she remember I don't know if you remember but she got on the phone yeah. for some of it and like she told some of her story and then you guys even did the uh, uh, YouTube video. Yes, exactly. So it just kind of all came together and worked out for the best, but I wasn't even gonna tell you guys about it, but a person very close to me, highly advised that I tell my story and not just allow my niece to appear in my life. And like with no explanation. Just they were like, you like, should tell. Hi. And I was like, I don't wanna tell the internet because I just went through this cancellation. Like I don't wanna, There's a lot going I don't wanna give them more because like they've already torn apart everything. So it's like, imagine giving something so vulnerable to a side of the internet that's destroyed you. So I- And that but has I, no mercy. Has no mercy whatsoever. So I literally was like, I'm not gonna do it. But then I came around to the idea of it and I filmed it about six different ways. And then I finally released the video that I adopted my niece. I'm adopted. That was a long time ago though. I know. Girl, you've literally seen me grow. I know. I've the whole internet grow. has. And I me. know. And Every me. single time like you post with me now, and you guys are freaking me out. You guys are like, She's so grown. You are. She's a woman. You are grown. The fact that I'm about to turn 20. Let's talk about that. Ooh, that's crazy to me. I'm, I'm a little true. girly pop. I'm using the shade girlies, y'all, just in case uh, you worry. A girly, girly pop. Girly. Uh, um, yeah, that is quite literally insane. You guys have seen me grow up so much. Hopefully I have changed a lot. And I'm not even talking about looks wise. I'm talking about maturity wise. I know people used to rag and be like, Erin's too hyper, or Erin's too wild, or da da da. And I'm like, guys, she is a kid. Also, I'm like, y'all are used to seeing 14 year olds that act like they're 32. This is what an actual 14, 15 year old acts like. And I think sometimes the internet forgets I, that. Can we talk about the 14 year olds today 
that I see on TikTok. It's scary. Even when I'm at work, I watch these little girls that look like they are 10 years old and they're wearing an outfit that I would wear. You've always been kind of like, you can wear what you want. But, like, I'm not super strict. But when it comes but... to a crop top, she'd be like, oh. Kind of. It's because these sickos out there, you know what I mean? I'm yeah, like, uh -uh, sickos, not too much now, not too much. So I think whenever you actually were your age, it shocked people. They forgot like, what a t young, young why teenager. Why is she acting this way? Mm -hmm. I'm like, she's a young person on camera. That's how young people on camera act. Aaron hears, but she doesn't listen. That is very true. Your uncle hears, but he doesn't listen as well. Yeah, and you know what's so funny? Tyler loves to hate on me for that when he does the exact same thing. He sure does. And you do it too sometimes. When? I'll be telling you something, and then five minutes later, Laura's like, what? And then I'm like, I just told you. So every single person in this house does it, and do we all get annoyed with each other? Extremely. I don't pop off on you the way you and Tyler pop off on me. Cause you don't listen to nothing we say. That might be true. Um, you fund majority of Aaron's spending income. No. No. That is so not true. Laura I, spoils me mm -hmm. with her own money, but. Yes, but I don't like shell out hundreds of dollars mm -hmm. for her to go blow. Yeah, like, Laura also does not give me money. I pay her for things that she does. Yes. Ain't no free money. And she'll spoil me, but that does not mean she is handing me like a couple hundred be like, go have fun with this baby. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Girl, you better. You want to start doing that? <laughs> sure don't. <sighs> mm -mm. You can if you want to though. Okay, it's good to know that you're available at any time. <laughs> I am. Besides that, you ever want to pay me to do something for you, I'll do anything. See, that's the spirit. I'll go to space. That's the spirit. I'll find a way to go to space. I told Erin the other day, what did I say to you? I said, earn your keep. She goes, what does that mean? What does that mean? I said, earn your keep. It was something funny, though. I was being funny about it. No, I feel like it was actually a serious No, Tyler told me you date the trash can. See? Oh, and yeah. I said, earn your keep. <laughs> yes, because I started arguing, and I was like... <laughs> Really? I was like, earn your keep. And Aaron goes, what does that even mean? My girl, what? <laughs> but it makes, honestly, sometimes with Southern phrases, I don't even know that, if it's a that Southern might phrase. Be. That could be. When you hear phrases like that, literally just think about it. Earn your keep. And it makes so much sense. Oh, look, someone said, I feel like you guys tip real well when you guys go out to eat. See? There you go. There's my redemption. You love that Aaron is on her own, but you secretly want her to move back. Um... <laughs> Your answer was supposed Your to. Your You need to start bawling, crying, telling me how much you miss me. I do not miss me. Miss Erin dearly while she's at, in college. So what's your reasoning for me but, to, you not want me to be back here? But, 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 I'm like happy for her that she's challenging herself and living on. Because it's hard, isn't it? It's harder being out there than it is just chilling here. Yes, yeah, so it's good. I'm happy that you're challenging yourself and... Girl, you gotta get out. You gotta go. No, I. Too much Aaron is a problem for me. But um, Aaron has a job here, and whenever she's not with her job, she's either asleep or <laughs> she is hanging out with a friend or two. So like you say, busy. So we get along really, really well. Yeah, I'm gonna say this right now. During my senior year, and I brought this up to both Laura and Tyler recently this week. Me and Laura and Tyler's relationship does get complicated a little bit more now. Now that I'm older and. And the fact that me and Tyler were only 13 years apart, me and Laura were only 15 years apart. Sometimes it just feels like an older sister with me, mm -hmm. so we do argue and bicker a lot. With this being said, as much as I do love being here, I also love having a place of my own as well. There you go. Because now we truly do love and appreciate our time together. And isn't we're not it fun? arguing as much, and I'm able to do whatever I want. Isn't it fun being on your own? It is, because is it a bit harder? Yes, but I have have my own standards and my own roles now. Mm. There you go. Which I like. I'm also surrounded by a lot of kids my age who act the exact same way as me. So I'm like, they're getting their stuff together. I'll get my stuff together. I'm having fun. Let me just make sure I have enough money to pay the bills and my mental health. Is going up. Aaron also started therapy. Yes, and I will be staying in therapy. Cause even though mentally right now I am feeling much better, yeah. I still think even if I was at my ultimate best with my mental health, still just having someone to speak to so good. is really nice. Especially when it's not a friend or it's not a family member because I don't hold anything back. Well, I don't, yeah. and I don't feel like I'm annoying them with my problems. I can trauma dump all I want. And it's good to yeah. like keep 
that relationship with your therapist even if things are going great so they stay in touch with what's going on in your world and where you're at so that way you're not like hey i haven't talked to you in six months let me start from the top i can't believe you don't miss me i do miss you i said i miss you dearly just want to make sure she's not sensitive at i all. am I'm not gonna say I'm one of the most sensitive people you'll ever meet, but I am up there. Oh, this one's just really funny. Aaron is rich. Ha! 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 She ain't rich. I wish. Aaron uses drugs. That is not true. The only thing I do <gasps> is up. Uh, up. Uh, Where is this going? Up. Uh, the only thing you do. Up. Uh, the only thing I do is I drink when I'm back in college without my little friends. Responsibly. Responsibly. I drink responsibly. Well, in Mexico, you can have all the drinks you want because you have to be 18 to drink there. So when we go in, the minute I get my passport. And that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching our assumption. Thank you for watching us get ready and talk your heads off. We spilled some tea. We spilled some tea. You guys know a little bit more about us. We love hey. you guys. Make sure and subscribe before you leave and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.